Hi, I'm Mr. Benjamin Lowe, author of Master Math Models. Okay, let's take a look at this PSLE question that has stumbled a lot of uh, kids. And uh, the main purpose of me doing this is to help children understand maths and through understanding maths, love maths. So if you're ready, let's begin. A bookshelf can fit either 30 big books or 45 small books. Now here the word either is important. What it means is that the amount of space taken up by 30 big books is the same as the amount of space taken up by 45 small books. Or to put it another way, if I were to put 30 big books on the shelf, then I have no space for any small books. And if I were to put 45 small books, then I have no space for big books. Let's carry on. There are three big books and 23 small books on the bookshelf already. Okay, what is the maximum number of big books that can be added onto the bookshelf? Okay, let me change this. So this is maximum big that can be added. Now, first of all, we need to determine how much space has already been used on the bookshelf. And to do that, let's begin with the ratio of the big and the small books. So it says here that 30 big books takes up the same space as 45 small books. So what we're going to do is we're going to write here big is to small. And the ratio for this would be 30 is to 45. Normally, when we get ratios like this, what we want to do is to make them into the simplest form because by turning them into the simplest form, it allows us to see the question in a clearer way. So first we will simplify. To simplify, I will divide both of these by five because they're clearly part of the five times table. When I do that, I will get 60 is to nine. And the next thing you want to check is, can this be further simplified? And here clearly, they can both be divided by three. So I will do that. And that gives me two is to three. What does this mean? This means that the amount of space taken up by two big books is the same amount of space taken up by three small books. Since that is the case, I can show that using a simple model. So here, if I have two big books, then below, I should draw a model used of three boxes representing three small box. And since they are taking up the same amount of space, then two big books equates to three small books. And I will call this one group. So what is one group? One group is either, so it's either or, not both, either or, two big books or three small books. Okay, now if I carry on doing this, I then have another set of big and small. Like this. So I have two big or three small. And I can keep doing this to determine what I want to find. Now, what am I interested to know? What I'm interested to know is how much space on the shelf has already been used by the three big books and the 23 small books. Now, I do not need to calculate how much space is taken up by the three big books because that's obviously just three, but I need to know how much space is taken up by the 23 small books that can no longer be used to put new big books. So in other words, I want to know how many big books is equivalent to 23 small books. To do that, I will take 23 and I will divide that by three. Now 23 divided by three, calculating on your calculator would say that you will have seven and two-thirds. What does that mean? 
That means that you now have seven groups because one group is made up of three small books. So I'm going to show that by drawing another box here to represent three more small books. And I now know that I have seven groups from here. And since one group is made up of two big books, then seven groups will be made up of seven times two or 14 big books. But what about the two third over here? What must we do with this? And what does it mean? The two third that you see over here, the three for the denominator is the group. And the two for the numerator is the amount of space taken up by one last incomplete group. Now, what do I mean? It means that right now, I have two more small books coming from the number here. These are the two more small books. And since I know that one group is made up of three small books, then I have a missing small book here. Now, the question is, this missing small book together with the two books that are here, does it take up the space for two big books? And the answer is yes, because we cannot break them into parts. So in other words, I have to treat it as if I have another big, another group here that is made up of two big books. And this means that right now, I have one extra group. So aside from the seven groups that I have already found, I have one more group here. And this one group is made up of two big books. So now my question to you is, altogether, how much space has been used on the shelf for the equivalent of big books? If your answer was 14 plus two, because now aside from the 14 big books over here, you have another two big books over here, giving you a total of 16 big books or the space that is equivalent to 16 big books that has already been used. Next, aside from the 16 big books, how many big books are already on the shelf? If you said three, you are correct. And since there are three here and 16 here, which is the space taken up or to put it simply, the space used by 23 small books So the space used by the tree, 23 small books is equivalent to 16 big books. Now with the other three big books that are already there, it is the equivalent of 16 plus three or 19 big books already on the shelf. Okay, this is already on the bookshelf. Okay, so let me summarize it for you first. So far, what we have found is that the amount of space taken up by three big books and 23 small books, which are already on the bookshelf, is equivalent to the space taken up by 19 big books. I know also that the bookshelf 
can hold exactly 30 big books. And since it can hold 30 big books, and it already holds 19 big books, or the space equivalent to 19 big books, then how many more big books can I put? Now, this will be very easy, right? What do you think it should be? Okay, if your answer is now to take 30, which is the maximum number of books that can be on the shelf, the maximum number of big books, minus 19, which is the space taken up already by the books on the shelf, then I can add another 11 big books to the shelf. And that is the answer to the question. Okay, you found this useful? You can subscribe and watch my other videos. And please share this with others who you think it can help. And that is the purpose of this video. So good luck, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.